Asus's new ZenBook 14X is meant to be the creme de la creme of portable notebooks. It's as if the company has finally refined most of its gimmicky tech and included these polished innovations into this device. The model I am reviewing here is the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED UX5400E. It packs a stunning 14-inch Samsung OLED panel and includes the Asus screen pad. It's all packed into one ultra-thin and lightweight notebook. The Asus ZenBook 14X is designed for those on the go, those who need a portable notebook but at the same time require an accurate display and some hefty internals to power their day. The Asus ZenBook 14X also packs the screen pad. This version isn't the screen pad plus which is seen on other notebooks and takes up a large portion of the upper keyboard. Instead, this screen pad is on the trackpad and doubles up as a touchpad and second display. Sure, this Asus ZenBook 14X model specifically won't take you to the moon with its internals, but it does make for a premium experience thanks to the sleek design and fantastic display. Personally, I don't think the screen pad is a selling point, in fact, it was my least favorite feature of this notebook, but hey, Asus wants to make this work, and if Apple couldn't get people to love their touch bar, I wish Asus all the luck. Here are the official specs for this specific Asus ZenBook 14X. The Asus ZenBook packs an incredible design. It is only 16mm thin, the lid is coated in an aluminium design that features a circle embossed material that emits from the Asus logo outwards. It looks stunning under the light. The keyboard body is also metal but the underneath is plastic. The screen ratio takes up most of the lid and the bezels aren't too thick either. Asus also managed to squeeze a webcam into the upper lid too, which is great considering all the strange ways they have tried to implement it in the past, you know, by either not having a webcam or selling it as an additional attachment. The display does support 10 finger touch and stylus support, meaning you can get around using your fingers or purchase a supported Asus stylus. Asus does not include a stylus in this box. The only additional accessory in the box is the USB Type-A to Ethernet adapter, just in case you wanted to know. The lid on the Asus ZenBook 14X also acts as the kickstand for the device. When opened, the lid lifts the notebook off the table thanks to the elevated design and the rubber feet at the back end of the display. The keyboard is half-sized and the power button includes a fingerprint scanner on the rim of it. The keyboard includes a white LED backlight too. Then there's the screen pad and trackpad combo. The display on the screen pad is 5.65 inches and packs an incredible 2160 by 1080 resolution. That's a lot of resolution for such a tiny little screen. However, it is coated with a matte glass surface and feels exactly the same as other trackpads. Sadly, the matte surface also degrades the quality of the screen on the trackpad and the resolution isn't as sharp as a result. As for the ports, on the right is where you'll find the two USB ports, audio jack combo and micro SD card slot. On the left, there is a USB Type-A port. You'll need this port for the Ethernet adapter because it also uses USB Type-A. And that's about it when it comes to the Asus ZenBook 14X design. It is simple and effective. Of course, the real magic is in the display and the screen pad, which we'll get to in a bit. The Asus ZenBook 14X isn't meant to be the most powerful notebook Asus has ever made, so keep that in mind when shopping around for it. You can also find a different range of models out there. There are QHD, 4K and 2K displays with NVIDIA MX450 and Radeon Vega variations. You can also get Intel and AMD Ryzen models. The Asus ZenBook 14X screen pad is actually just a secondary display to Windows. However, while Windows treats the screen pad as a display, you can't really drag applications and really interact with them as much as I thought. I would say just stick to the built-in apps and elements Asus has for you pre-installed and the ones you can add to the screen pad. This will help avoid disappointment thinking this is a two displays in one notebook. You can turn off the screen pad easily. You can also touch a button that dims the display and enables the trackpad. I did have some issues with the screen pad being unresponsive at times. I had a bug where a pop-up kept coming up and I could not close it nor could I turn anything on and off. At times I could not even change the pages or go to the other apps available. Sometimes I had to simply turn the notebook off and restart it just to get the screen pad working. The screen pad also feels extremely flimsy. Clicking on the trackpad to do general tasks on Windows will result in the LCD rippling under the glass. I was afraid it would break and barely applied any pressure on the clicks as a result. 
Some apps also just didn't open at all. The icon would darken to show I clicked on it, but nothing would happen. I often found myself restarting the notebook just to fix these screen pad issues. It would say I probably restarted this notebook about six times. Again, the screen pad is nice to have, but with my experience, it wasn't up to scratch. It really feels like more of a gimmick than something I would actually use. I prefer to have a full display monitor next to me for my second screen, or perhaps an iPad or even my iPhone. Most of the apps on the screen pad can be found as other versions on the actual Windows device. It also doesn't help that the screen pad simply launches apps that pop up on the main display. You can drag them to the screen pad, but the aspect ratio often results in a mixed match experience of apps that don't display properly when dragged to the screen pad. When it comes to the performance, the Asus ZenBook 14X does okay in its field. You simply can't compare this notebook to any other top-of-the-range device on the market because it's not what it's meant to be. This notebook will compare to devices like the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 and other ZenBooks, and maybe the Huawei MateBook. I ran some productivity tests and these are the results I got. While the Asus ZenBook 14X really isn't a gaming notebook by a long shot, you can get away with 3D gaming on apps and other low-end titles. Don't expect to play much though. The NVIDIA GeForce MX450 is there to simply help accelerate your creative tasks and power Windows visuals. Not so much let you explore jungles and shoot other players in Fortnite. If you're willing to drop everything to low in certain video games and sacrifice some resolutions, you might get away with playing some of the latest games. Here are some of the benchmarks I ran. The fans didn't get too loud while I was running GPU and CPU tests. I measured a max of 45 decibels, which saw the fans trying to cool down the notebook that was sitting on around 50 degrees Celsius. Again, the internals here aren't the most powerful, so the heating matches up with the performance you'll get. I would say it is pretty decent overall. The webcam is actually quite impressive. Sure, it is only a 720p camera, but it handles its light pretty well, and even has an autofocus feature in case you want to get out of focus and want to come back in. This is done automatically so you don't really have control over it. As for the speakers, they are decent too. They clearly lack a punch and bass is non-existent, but the mids and highs were clear. They also get quite loud too. This should be ample for meeting, streaming and watching content. The Asus ZenBook 14X packs a great battery and should last you throughout the day if you turn off the screen pad and dim the display. I measured a max of 8 hours during my test by pushing the performance down and the brightness low. Of course, this will change depending on your experience, but the battery life is great for a Windows Intel notebook. Besides some of the issues with the screen pad, which could hopefully get fixed with some updates, the Asus ZenBook 14X is a decent notebook that really shines thanks to its incredible display. The colors are accurate and the panel is vibrant and bright. Sure, the performance isn't the best on the market, but this notebook is aiming to be your everyday companion rather than a monster machine. And that's my thoughts on the Asus ZenBook 14X. Are you picking this notebook up? Let us know down below. As always, please do like and subscribe guys, it really does help. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out glitch.online for all your tech and gaming news. Until next time, farewell.